Greg Abbott in Houston today pushing a new election integrity bill targeting Harris County. The proposed measure aims to ban popular election reforms enacted last year, such as drive through voting. A group calling the bill voter suppression held a protest against it as the governor was speaking in West Houston. And that is where KPRC2's Taisha Walker is joining us live now with a closer look at their concerns. Taisha? Christine, that group of protesters that was out here earlier today say if that bill makes its way to the governor's desk and becomes law, they fear that Texas will be heading in the wrong direction and it will be harder for people to actually cast their vote. Wait, Governor Greg Abbott was welcomed to Houston this morning with signs and chants outside of Senator Paul Betancourt's office. Protesters like family medicine doctor Lee Barley says they want their voices heard now and at the ballot box. One of the reasons we had such great voter turnout in 2020 is because on the local level we made voting easier. The group opposes proposed Senate Bill 7, which they say is voter suppression. The Republicans in charge really want democracy. Why are they trying to stop people from voting? Governor Abbott touted Senate Bill 7 as legislation that aims to reduce voter fraud and protect the integrity of our elections. The governor singled out Harris County for allowing drive through voting for all and for sending out mail-in ballot applications to people who didn't request them during the 2020 presidential election. Election officials should be working to stop potential mail ballot fraud, not facilitate it. Harris County made national news last election cycle for expanding voting access. Polls were open past 7 p.m. and drive through voting was enacted during the pandemic. As a result, Harris County broke its all-time voting record during the 2020 election. County Judge Lena Hildago says that should be celebrated. It's clearly a direct response to the massive success we had in Harris County last year in terms of accessible and secure elections. According to the Houston Chronicle, the Attorney General's office, Ken Paxson's office, only found 16 legitimate cases of voter fraud in Harris County during the last election cycle. KPRC2 is still working to independently confirm that number. That's the latest here in West Houston. Taisha Walker, KPRC2 News. Taisha, thank you.